I have a question. Why you guys always, or why do you always shout? You're shouting right now. I'm trying to get the message through. <laughs> why do we always shout? I don't yeah. shout. Why are you always yeah, so goddamn angry? Yeah, why are you always <laughs> so goddamn angry? <laughs> Welcome back! <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna head out to SMS Design and Performance and put on the brand new bumpers I got for the Ram. Steel bumpers, finally. So uh, we're gonna take the Hellcat today. It hasn't been driven on the channel, but uh, I've been driving around uh, here and there with it, but tend not to drive it in the summer. As you can see, I think the camera is a little bit foggy right now because of the insane heat and humidity that we have. So sorry about that. It will adjust after a while. Um, yeah, so let's go head out, check out these new bumpers. They're from ADD, uh, steel front and back, pre-runner style kind of look. I love it. Let's go. SMS design and performance. The truck is probably inside. I dropped it off yesterday. I heard that the rear bumper is on, but we'll go have a look at the front and rear, have a look at the packaging, and see basically what is up. Woohoo! That was quick. All right, so the guys are test fitting the front bumper. Oh my God, it looks good. God damn. All right, all right, all right. I don't know where to start. I didn't know these guys would be doing this so quickly. Here's the rear bumper. Damn, that looks good. So these are ADDs, the Stealth Fighters. And I just, uh, I don't know what to say, man. It just looks so good got the rigid lights inside so when you order this kit you kind of choose which ones you want um, got these floodlights in the back uh, the guy said they don't fit kind of perfectly inside but I think they look pretty snug in there I think that looks pretty cool um, yeah <laughs> damn that looks so dope man just looks more tough let's go check out the front again and uh, they have a space here for the LED bar and uh, once you go on rigid I mean uh, rigid ADD on their online shop you have different options I went with the rigid 40 inch LED bar how are you good and the guys have been at work That looks awesome. Got the skip blade there underneath. And basically, the stock bumper hangs a bit lower, like up to here. So this is a bit higher, it gives you a bit more clearance in the front. And you got that skip blade to make sure nothing happens. So far, this is just a test fit from what I've seen. But it looks snug and nice. Hi, how are you? Hell yeah. I just like how clean it looks, man. Starting to look like an actual truck here. Obviously, we'll be doing the lift kit and the wheels and tires at a later stage. But uh, yeah, these things came in. Took them three months around that to make them. And send them out. And they were true to their word to the exact date. So if you want to get a set of these, keep that in mind that you have to wait a little bit, but they're really good with their time and I was really impressed with their customer service as well. All in all, these bumpers cost around $5,600 with the lights. So that's with the rigid floodlights in the back and the, the 40 inch LED bar in the front. 
Um, unfortunately, we couldn't find a way to get the fog lights in because the original bumper comes with these fog lights that kind of shine the, the road on the, from the, on the side. And uh, we're looking into it. Maybe in the future we can find somewhere to create a bracket underneath where in the front you got that stealth fighter little uh, opening. You can take that out, maybe put something in there. Maybe that's something we could do in the future. Right now we're not really thinking about it because I need to get the truck out today because we're doing something again tomorrow. Um, so yeah, this is what I was talking about here. You can un unscrew that and maybe put the fog lamps in there. You just gotta have a look for the other bumper and see. Where is, uh, there's the rear. So here you go, here's the rear bumper. And as you can see, it's all plastic. So, yeah, no good. The front one is steel from what I remember. I'm um, gonna have a look at that in a second. Here you go, so here's the front bumper, and it is steel there, but this feels like it's aluminum. So, not as tough as the ADD bumper, obviously. And as you can see, it's a lot bigger, you know, the, the, the other bumper like goes down to around here that has a skip, skip plate where this, as you can see, is a bit bigger and uh, the fog lamps are right there. And that's what I was thinking about incorporating, but this is a huge housing here. They're quite powerful, so all of that would have to go behind it and somehow brackets would have to be created for that. So we're gonna just leave it to the side for now. And I think the LED, LED bar will be an amazing replacement. Instead of those fog lamps, we'll be able to see everything. I'm just making it look tough right now. Yes! What's also cool about this kit, um, you get to retain the sensors. So, I'll show you in the back. Might have had a look at it while I was looking at the back, but I'm just gonna point it out over here. So you can retain the sensors from the original kit. And they have two types of bumpers, the ones with six sensors and the one with four. My truck had four, so just had the one with four cutouts for the sensors. I think the Limited gets six, I'm not really sure. About that make sure to let me know down in the comments but also let me know what do you think of this <laughs> gonna test that LED bar gonna go right in there there's a dedicated spot for it definitely heavier than the original bumpers so that's something you need to keep in mind um, I don't think I mean this truck is meant to tow it's meant to put things in the back so it's not gonna make a huge difference but it might make a little bit we'll have to see about that i'm actually interested in road noise because of the front bumper being a bit lifted but you know what this looks even better just no bumper pre-runner style <laughs> and over here we got the 350z bug z dub this is another project car of mine uh basically death cart style uh drift car uh started off as something very basic turned into this right now uh, you can check it out in the link uh, top right you can see the playlist I created like from start to finish well st from start to now um, we we're dynoing it the other day and found out that the timing chain and a couple of things were worn out so uh, we just got some new ones as you can see they're just being put in so pretty cool pretty decent this car is probably not gonna get out anytime soon because it's not the season yet uh, it's too hot to drive it and uh, the track is closed but yeah, come October or something like that, definitely be taking this baby out for some uh, drifting lessons because I'm going to be learning to drift in that thing. But back to the truck, uh, let's see what else we got here. We got like a nice C6 Corvette, got the C7 as well. Thinking about getting the C8, um, but I probably have to sell the Hellcat for that. So let me guys know in the comment sections down below if I should do that. I really do like the C8. I uh, looked at pictures online, there's a couple of leaks here and there, and it's just sick. It's just absolutely beautiful. Um, love the interior. Definitely something to think about. All right, having a look at the front bumper now. So here you got brackets for the LED. The LED bar fits in nicely. And then you have these rubber stoppers 
that have been cut here. I don't know if you can see that. And uh, basically fit in <coughs> to the heat sink. So just extra protection so it doesn't move around, stays in place, and uh, just need to kind of push that in and secure it by hand or with a little rubber hammer. And even see on this side, you can unscrew this. You can put more LED lights there if you want. But we're sticking with this here for now. I really like how this front end looks without a bumper. It looks so cool. Fortunately, it's not legal to drive like this. And yeah, the bumper will come in handy as extra protection, as always. Um, there is a switch somewhere here for the lights that come with the kit. I can't really find them right now, but I'll show you to them. I'll show you them in a bit once uh, everything is installed. All right, so the LED bar is installed and in place. The bumper is going on right now and it looks absolutely awesome. Look at this, man. I just love the way it looks. It just looks so much beefier. Woo! Wow, we got a loud Corvette. Where are you, buddy? Where are, hey, there it is. A lot more clearance and now the sensors are installed back in fitment is nice as well same amount of spacing on both sides which is really cool uh, you can see that a lot of R&D went in for this kit and uh, no issues installing it there you go. That's the here we go Maj is really angry that he's not on the vlog <laughs> <That's one tip. laughs> so we've been dynoing this car and what happened the timing chain was we broke the car. Yes. Uh, no, you broke the car. I didn't. No, no, <laughs> you I broke didn't. the car. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> so but yeah, basically what happened or what we did is we, we tried to have so too much fun with this thing <laughs> because you asked for, for the for the fireworks. Yeah, it's and always the bang my, bang. My, my fucking bro. It's, it's fault. your fault, yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm just doing what you want. So basically what we end up doing is we had so much fun. You know, we had so much backfire going on behind the car. Yeah, I agree. It was so bad, so loud. It pissed the neighbor off and it, it bent. literally yeah. bent yeah. the exhaust of the amount of explosions this, happening. This so. thing we used to be over. No, it's not. I don't know what you call this, but it's not over anymore. It looks like the Taj Mahal. <laughs> yeah, it could be. Yeah. <laughs> so it's got this little shape. And what I was really cool is that it's actually bending directly in the middle. Yeah, like because, it's because that's the explosion perfect. point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this yeah. thing was shooting flames like nobody's business. So yeah, what, what we end up doing or what we end up having is we did so much bang bang, you know, firework and rev limiter kind of thing. And what actually that did, it stretched the timing chain. So the timing chain became kind of, you know, longer. This one, this thing comes with age because this engine was not it's a 2004 engine, so... Yeah, I mean, it's a 2004. I don't know how many miles we have of it. But, you know, it comes with age, but, you know, what we actually done on the dyno made it worse, you know? Mm -hmm. We accelerate that process. Yeah, but this timing chain, will that be able to withstand the explosions and everything? Or you do you, man. We don't Up know. You, <laughs> you want to find out? Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's your car. <laughs> want to find out, man. Because I don't want this thing to, you know, to, to give me trouble on the track. I mean, what we did was kind of stupid. It wasn't stupid, but it was kind of over the limit a little bit. So what you did? No, what you asked for. <laughs> Come on, don't, don't I asked me. for a proper training. <laughs> like for, yeah. just, you know, like put it through the worst thing it can go through and see if it, ha it handles it. Yeah, you can't do it right, guys. All right, got the plate on. Unfortunately, that is required by law over here. And if I don't have that on, I can get a serious ticket or even worse. So that has to go in. But I don't think it looks that bad. The truck is right now in its highest position. And as you can see, it looks much better when it's higher up than down low. I'm also very pro the off-road look. And damn, man, this looks insane. Ah, yes. Starting to look like a real off-roader now. Still a couple of mods to go, but let me know what you guys think. I think it just looks really, really good. I've seen this uh, bumper on a couple of other trucks. Um, 
when they're low to the ground or they don't have the air suspension where you can rise the thing a bit higher doesn't suit it as much as with this setup here uh, obviously with the four inch lift kit that I'll be getting in the future it's going to be even more pronounced and it'll look better and here's the back so got the rigid lights in there really like it thinking about shortening the exhaust because they stick out a little bit now but that's no biggie to be done in the future there is a little bit of gap here on both sides so that's something you have to consider if you're getting this kit as well as in the front there's a little bit of gap here as well that could be adjusted we could do that with washers but this is I think the way the guys designed it and honestly it doesn't look that bad it looks really good Let me guys know what you think back down in the comment section is down below. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Take care.